again, the last day of January, 2008. I am a sports fan. It's a wonder my good wife's been able to bear how many games. I don't much care if it's golf or tennis, wrestling or baseball. Love to watch those football games. She's been a patient lady. Big game coming up this weekend. Yeah, I'll sell a lot of beer. And there'll be a lot of harder liquor drinking drink at private parties. Probably a lot of hard liquor slipped in some way at some of those people that actually are at the Super Bowl game in Phoenix. It's kind of a thing that really bothers me. Uh, it's just not moral. It's not right. I can own a, a ballpark. I can own a team. I can get rich selling alcoholic beverages. The kids on the other side of town, they mess around with marijuana, uh, some of the other more advanced uh, bad drugs. But none of those other drugs have been to workshops conducted by the United States of America government. And every one of those workshops I went to said the number one drug causing more divorces, more deaths, more suicides, more wrecked marriages, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, that the worst drug is alcohol. They're all talking about in Timbuktu, the worst drug in America is alcohol. <laughs> and then our phony baloney way we do politics, we have a war on drugs. But we don't conclude alcohol because after all it was once banned and then because everybody was using it. At least enough people of influence were using it that they decided to go ahead and legalize it. For God's sakes, don't these people count that are being imprisoned by the hundreds, by the thousands for using and selling lesser drugs? Don't they count? Oh, and there's a lot of rich people using those drugs too, but they're more sophisticated in general. Some of them get busted, but in general, they're more sophisticated. They know when and where and how to use. We're a moral nation. Yeah, 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 we're a moral nation. You can't, you can't be claiming to be moral and mean it when you imprison people for using a lesser drug while you let the big boys get very rich and sell a more harmful drug. And stadiums, baseball parks, at the American Legion, etc., etc. You know, we've lost our party group that we used to go together and watch the uh, Super Bowl. I saw in my Legionnaire magazine, or bulletin anyway, that came out that they're having a real fine Super Bowl party. And I said to my wife, you know, there's one we could go to. But then I got to thinking about it. I am so against drinking. You don't, you don't have two uncles that are alcoholics. You don't see teachers that are alcoholics and have to try to get it under control. You don't see a lot of your ex-students that are alcoholics and many of them now dead because of alcohol-related events in their lives, those ending events. No, I guess if it's necessary, Mrs. Riggs and I will have our own little party to watch the Super Bowl. And I'll guarantee you, there won't be any alcohol consumed. Some soda? Oh yeah, you bet. And I know soda's not good for me. I'm probably a little bit addicted to soda. But by golly, I don't have to worry about it ruining my marriage, causing me to accidentally kill somebody or get myself killed because of the influence of the worst drug in America. Where are you Christian people? Where are you ministers 
that stand by and let this horrible, unfair, un-American thing go on of imprisoning hundreds and thousands of people for using lesser drugs, having the paraphernalia is a crime. You, you we put a lot of people in jail for that too. While they can uh, all go tip the beer bottle and drink of the whiskey and no problemo, no problemo. Come on. Morality, Christianity, decency, fairness. Let's wake up America. Cut out these double standards.